Can milk cause constipation? Can milk cause an increase in mucus? So now we're gonna address two very common questions that I get about milks. So number one, can milk cause constipation? So first I wanna note here that there are so many causes of constipation in kids. Parents are so often quick to jump to diet being the cause or even one food like milk. While diet is often related to constipation, there are likely many factors, diet, hydration, movement, medical conditions, behavioral aspects, that are at play causing your child to be constipated, not just one food. In fact, sometimes the risk of constipation can even be genetic. So we can't really like filter it down to one thing causing constipation or one food causing constipation. So let's talk about a few studies that address this question of milk and constipation. According to a 2009 article in the Journal of Pediatric Allergy and Immunology, cow's milk allergy, so from a healthcare professional's listening, this was defined using serum specific IgE, a cow's milk allergy may be related to chronic functional constipation in some kids that's not responsive to lactulose intervention. So if your child is constipated and you suspect it might be due to a allergy, it's really important to get in touch with a pediatric allergist because eliminating dairy completely from your child's diet at a young age can actually cause a dairy allergy. And if you suspect that your child has a food allergy, it's really important to have a pediatric allergist on your team anyways. So we don't wanna be eliminating any dairy unnecessarily from the diet. If your child does have an allergy, yes, we would want to eliminate dairy, but in that case, you should be working with an allergist who can guide you on your dietary elimination and possible reintroduction. Now, a 2013 article in the journal Nutrients was a small study that showed switching from cow's milk to soy milk in children with chronic functional constipation did help increase the frequency of bowel movements. So keep in mind that this is a super small study. The authors didn't remove all milks. They replaced cow's milk with soy milk. And then the authors were also unable to determine why these children appeared to be sensitive to milk. But it does appear that there is a small subset of kids with constipation for which milk consumption can make it worse. Does milk cause constipation? In the large majority of kids, no. In a small subset of kids with cow's milk allergy or sensitivity to milk proteins, possibly. Milk might cause constipation in these kids. We really don't have adequate data to be sure, but for most, dairy does not cause constipation. Um, but keep in mind that dairy does have zero fiber. So if your child's diet is predominantly dairy foods or dairy foods plus grains with minimal fiber like white bread or pasta, constipation is super likely not because they're eating dairy, but because their diet is lacking fiber. While it might appear that a kid who eats a ton of dairy is constipated because of the milk, it might actually be that they're constipated because they're not drinking a lot of water or eating a lot of fiber. This is why it's important to touch base with a pediatric dietitian because we can help you tease that out because we don't want to remove foods unnecessarily from your child's diet. The last question we're going to talk about is can milk cause an increase in mucus? Now, when I asked in my Instagram stories of who thinks milk causes an increase in mucus, it was split down the middle pretty good. About 50% said yes, they did think it. And about 50% said no, they don't think that milk causes an increase in mucus. The science-based answer is no, milk doesn't cause an increase in mucus. We're going to go through a little bit of the science here to explain why and why people might feel like it does. There's a great 2018 review article by Balfour Lynn that was posted in the Journal of Archives of Disease in Childhood about this topic. So I'm gonna pull this discussion from that article. So studies on this topic of mucus and milk go way back to 1948, where investigators asked about dairy and mucus production and didn't find any increased amount of mucus in those who had the highest consumption of dairy. Now, another study, which was funded by the Dairy Research Council in Australia, did not find a relationship between dairy intake and amount of mucus produced 
or congestion during an illness. And finally, from the same group, a third study looked at the difference in reported symptoms for those who drank cow's milk and soy milk. Now, the two groups did not have any difference in reported coating of the mouth and throat need to swallow and having thicker saliva. So the cow's milk group did not have more reports of like issues with mucus than the soy milk group did. So now for mechanism and biochemistry talk about milk and mucus. Because a compound that is produced during the digestion of milk can upregulate the expression of a gene that produces mucus, isn't it logical that milk could cause more mucus? Because we know that. We know that when milk is digested in the colon, a byproduct of that digestion can upregulate a gene that causes mucus production. Yes and no, it's logical and it's not. So this digestive process happens in the colon. So while more mucus might be produced in the colon, this isn't likely to affect the mouth unless there is problematic inflammation in the colon allowing this protein to enter the bloodstream and even then, even if that protein does enter the bloodstream, it's unlikely that it would have an effect on mucus production in the upper GI tract. But it is possible that milk might make mucus thicker. So when saliva mixes with mucus, due to the properties in saliva, it can become thicker. When this happens and you swallow, some of this saliva milk mixture might remain in your mouth, which makes you feel like it's like coated. So this might lead someone to feel like they're producing more mucus when in fact, what they're actually experiencing is just a byproduct of saliva milk mixing with milk, which is delicious. This phenomenon occurs because milk is a mixture of fat and water, which the same thing should theoretically occur with other milks, even plant-based milks, because those are also an emulsified mixture of fat and water. So milk does not increase the volume of mucus, but it might make your saliva feel thicker and stickier. So if it makes you feel more comfortable not to eat any dairy products while you're sick, because you don't like the feel of thick mucus while you're sick, then that's fine, you can skip it, but know that it doesn't actually increase mucus production and dairy products might be a great source of easy calories while you're sick. So just keep that in mind when you're deciding if you wanna serve dairy to yourself or your kids when there is a mucusy illness going around. Whew. Okay, so that is all the milk content. We went through a lot. We talked about is milk necessary? We did a big nutrient comparison. We talked about how to pick a milk for your family. We talked all about the milk transition from infant to toddlerhood and answered a ton of questions about milk. So that's it for the mini milk course from Growing Intuitive Eaters. Again, my name is Dr. Taylor Arnold, pediatric registered dietitian, nutrition PhD, and mom of two. I specialize in helping parents shape healthy relationships with food so that your kids eat more veggies and don't obsess over sweets. I am on a mission to make this information accessible and affordable to everyone to help parents raise the next generation of intuitive eaters to love and nourish their bodies. I am so happy you're joining me here and happy feeding.